prizes and tries in every possible way to drive their loved ones to suicide. For the one who takes their own life is lost for eternity and longs for company in the land of shadows. Hey everyone, welcome to the fantastic, awesome Geek Legion of Doom channel. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but I am Madison Mayhem, aka the Fright Chick, and thank you very much, Leo, for asking me if I would like to do this review. Um, I was super excited when you asked me, and now my mind's just blown. I've never had such a hard time summarising a film in my head before. This film blew my mind, okay, and not necessarily in a good way. Okay, so the title of this fantastic film is Angel of Darkness or Curse of Styria. It's going to obviously have both titles, so whichever one, it's the same film, okay? Uh, this film is getting released on the 11th of July 2016, that's this year, people. And MCMD Films brings us this little gem, which hopefully will confuse the shit out of all of you too, because I'm super confused, okay? Seriously. Now, if you see me on my own channel, if you see me on Body Bags, you'll know that I can ramble for days. I could ramble for a freaking year on this one. Seriously. Okay, so... Trying to put it into a nutshell, the basic premise of this movie that stars Stephen Rea and Eleanor Tomlinson, I don't recognise anyone else from this film, but you might recognise Stephen Rea from uh, A Crying Game or V for Vendetta, you'll probably recognise Eleanor Tomlinson from Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging for you ladies out there, um, but the basic premise of this is that um, we have Stephen Rea and Eleanor Tomlinson playing a father and daughter, Dr Walter Hill and his troubled teenage daughter Lara. The film opens in 1989 Hungary and they are trying to get through a checkpoint because the entire movie is based on the fact that they are going to be staying in this Hungarian castle where there are a couple of historic murals. Uh, the castle is in huge disrepair. They are going there to clean up, preserve and then extract these murals to take back and I'm assuming put them in a museum or something. They're basically preserving them. But some of the locals headed by a general are there to demolish the car. I don't know if they're demolishing the entire castle, but they are demolishing the murals. So when they get there, they ha already have an altercation in the first five minutes with this team because they're already starting to smash stuff up, even though they've had permission to be there for a whole week so that they can do their thing, basically. Um, there are about ten people in this entire film. I'm not kidding. We have the demolition team headed by the general. We have Walter and Lara. We also have a young girl who is our, our other lead character and then we have a smattering of Hungarian locals who don't really get involved in the film but they get involved towards the end. Now this run, the runtime for this is 140 minutes, okay? Way too long for what happens in this film. They should have cut it down to like an hour like, because this film is very strange in the fact that it has a lot going on but it has actually nothing going on at the same time. The entire premise, once they get to the castle, is that uh, one of the murals gets knocked over straight away and reveals an entire secret part of the castle that was rumoured to be there but wasn't. no one actually believed it was. And I'm assuming that this is how Carmilla, our other character, our lead character, comes into play. It takes all of 15 minutes for all of this to happen, so it's very quick, it gets into the film very quickly, but this whole film is, as a whole is a super slow burner. If you're not into slow burners or if you're into things that have a lot of action or a lot of bloodshed and things like that when it comes to horror films, this is not the film for you, trust me. There is hardly any action, there really isn't a lot of blood or, or gore or anything that makes it kind of stereotypically horror related. And even though I said it's a slow burner, it isn't a slow burner in the sense of those films that use a five minute corridor sequence that just goes on too long or someone staring for a whole two minutes to build what they think is going to be suspense. There's a lot of quick cuts in this film. Each scene is very short. It, it, there's always something happening. There's always something going on. Even if no one's necessarily talking, even if the person is just sitting at a table, at least the scenes are quite short. So it kept my interest, even though by about 45 minutes in, nothing much had happened. Now, the whole preserving the mural thing really isn't that big of a deal in this film because they don't focus on it too much. But Carmilla is a young girl 
and our troubled teenage Lara meets her about 15 minutes into the film and the rest of the movie right up until the end is literally just uh, their interactions now I am still not sure what Carmilla is because at times she is portrayed as being this powerful vampire or it's more suggested that she is rather than showing us but then at times she's also portrayed as being this kind of innocent girl that's just ostracized by the village so I'm really not sure what she is even at the end and there are a lot of scenes after the first hour that um, are kind of montages or dream sequences so I was very confused by the end of it as to um, what was actually happening in real life <laughs> I wasn't sure if the, if the stuff that was happening to the characters was actually happening to them or if someone had just dreamed it and we were just seeing that it's very very confusing but having said that even though I'm I sound a bit like I'm slagging the film off I'm really not because it has one huge redeeming feature oh my god is it a redeeming feature the imagery in this film is amazing so is the score I love it I hope they release some sort of soundtrack I loved everything I heard in this entire film music was beautiful and generally speaking this has got to be one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen every shot was amazing the camera angle usage was fantastic like just some of the things they use like when they use little bits of smoke here and there the lighting they use um, just everything in general I can't even sing its praises enough it was one of the best looking films I've ever seen and that's saying something coming from someone that's seen as many films as I have for what they let down in the general plot and the storytelling because trust me I pretty much t just told you everything that kind of is important in the film even up to the very end with the end game not giving away the ending or anything like that or not giving away anything that's a real true spoiler nothing much actually happens even though it's a vampire film it's quite ambiguous it's it's an entire movie that is just based on interpretation you have to decide what's happened you have to decide what you're seeing that's why it's so hard for me to talk about because I can't really pinpoint a lot of stuff because it changes so much this film has an extremely extremely obvious subliminal sexual message I think they're just trying to play on the fact that obviously Carmilla is the name of the the fabled vampire queen I think they're just playing on the fact that it's the kind of vampiric sexual tension that you get in films and they're just they overplayed it you know the whole kind of seduction thing overall I think I'd have to give this film maybe a 6 out of 10 because I probably wouldn't watch it again only because I'm not a fan of slow burners and obviously I think they could have put everything into about 40 minutes I really do um, but the fact that the uh, every shot I saw and everything and the acting was fantastic but everything I actually saw in the film was so well done it was so well made fantastic to look at um, but the general lack of a plot and ambiguousness of the whole thing just really let it down for me so that was my review guys hopefully I didn't ramble too much probably gonna put this on my own channel Madison Mayhem and maybe if the guys will let me I will put it on our seven day a week collective body bags channel for all your horror needs but thank you very much again Geek Legion of Doom Mwah.